guys Debbie here welcome to my channel and welcome back today I'm going to be doing another video with the Beauty Bean and Shroud It's Reeking Bats palette because I had so much fun doing the purple look that I've already done with the palette and you guys said you would like to see a green look or further looks with this palette I absolutely wanted to do it because it's such a gorgeous palette if you haven't caught the previous video or you don't know about the palette this is the the gorgeous colors inside and we created this eye look today and we've also played with some blush and highlight on camera as well to kind of blend in with the, the vibe of the look. So if you want some inspiration of how to pair some of these colours together, want to see how I created this super dramatic green smoky eye, then please keep on watching. I've done my base off camera. I've used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, concealer and powder and done a bit of contour, done my brows, but I thought we could do blush and highlight together before we move into the eye look. So I wanted to use the Lightly Makeup Clown Blush Palette today. It's one of my favourites. Wanted to do an orange, yellowy sort of blush today. I think that'll go nice with the green and gold eye look that I've got planned. So I'm gonna use Contortion and Carnival, kind of mix those two together. Taking Contortion first and placing that. And then I'll probably just add a little bit of carnival over the top. Love an orange blush. The whole of this palette is awesome. Whenever I'm thinking about what blush I want to do, I'm always tempted to use this one. So I hope you guys don't mind seeing this on my channel so much. But it is literally one of my favourites. This one and the Fairy Blush palette. They're just so good. I love that they've got some colours that are a little bit more out there that you don't find normally for blush. So I've applied contortion, just going to go in with a bit of carnival and just try to bring a bit of sunshine to this blush. I like the mix of those two together, I think that's super pretty. So now I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just buffing that in. For highlight, I was tempted to use this one. It's no longer available, but it is one of the best products that Kaleidos ever brought out. It's the Laser Glazer Highlight. And it's just a beautiful green. I thought if I'm doing a green eye look, let's go all in with a bit of green sparkle on the cheeks as well. Don't understand why they discontinued this one because there was a lot of love for it. I guess it's bit of an out there colour but it's so good to use as in a corner highlight or to pick out like the centre of your lid for a halo eye there's so much you can do with it so yeah I was surprised to see them get rid of this one I think it's giving quite an alien-esque glow to my skin today okay so my plan for the eyeshadow is I want to do kind of a smoky eye so this uh, grim shade all over my lid but I want to pick out the top of like the the line of my crease with the shade Humbug because that's so beautiful and then for crease work I'm probably going to be using Adams and Trapper it'll kind of evolve as it goes along as my looks do but that's kind of my plan so I'm going to start by putting grim on the lids but I need to prime first so I'm going to do that with the MAC Painty Paint Pot as usual I'm going to keep the primer more concentrated in my upper area of my eyes or creasing up to my brow and not too much on my lids because I'm just gonna go straight in with glitter primer there I'm gonna start with the shimmer shade today I'm mainly just putting this primer down so I've got something to blend the mats into when I add those as I want things to be really green and smoky, I'm going to go in with Mars by Urban Decay on my lower lash line and in my waterline. So I'm going to start with that. Just going to smudge that out a little. So I'll be coming back to that later, but just thought I'd start with that. So I'm going to go in with the shade Grim and I'm going to put that pretty much all over my lids. So I'm going to go in with Glitter Primer, pretty much apply that Glitter Primer all over my lid space. I know it's not 
all that long ago that I already played with this palette. You guys seem to want to see a green look and I was like, what do I film today? And I thought, why not do this? Because I had such a, a good time playing with the purples in this palette and it's a pretty inspiring palette, so I wanted to do it. So as I say, we're going to take Grim and I'm going to pat that all over my lids. And that is a super beautiful shimmer. I'm not worrying too much if it gets up into my crease. Because we are going to do some blending there anyway with the mattes. But I thought I'd start by packing the shimmer down. Shimmers in this palette are just so beautiful. Now that the shimmer's laid down, I just want to just blend the edges of it, just with no product on the brush, just to make it easier to blend the mattes into that shimmer. Sometimes when I do a smoky kind of eye like this, I'll start with the crease shades, but I decided to do it differently today. Now to get a bit of depth in this crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Adams. I'm going to take that on the lower lash line as well. So I'm being really careful to tap my brush off before I do this because these are powdery mattes. They're beautiful but they're very powdery and they're quite deep colours so just going very steady, a bit at a time and just all the way around where I've laid down that grim shade I'm taking Adams and that's kind of changed things to more of a greeny hue I think it's definitely what you do with them that has a big impact on the overall look in the end I want to create quite a rounded shape so bringing that onto the lower lash line as well and I'll just catch up the other eye Now I want to further blend here with the shade Trapper. So I've gone with a bit bigger brushes, this is the Morphe M506. I'm taking that all the way around the edges. And on the lower lash line as well. That's definitely changed the tone of the look. It's such a beautiful matte. It's one of those murky kind of seaweedy sort of baby pukey greens that I love. So glad there's a shade like this in the palette. And now I'm Fairly happy with the blending there. I think that looks really, really pretty. Smoky blown out. I want to add a little bit of interest just coming up to this place between my nose and up to my brow. So I'm going to go in with a little bit spooky there, I think. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that spooky shade and I'm just going to just put an accent of that going up to my brow just in this inner part here I'm joining that up with my brow so it almost fades into my brow there just in that front part Brings a little bit more drama into the look, I think. It's going to take a bigger blending brush just to blend that out. I just want it to be an accent. I don't want it, it to be too strong in the look. So just a little bit of a 
purple haze going up to my brow. For my inner corner, I'm roughing under my lower lash line. I was either going to go with Sam or go with Hamburg, but I think I'm going to go with Sam. I've not really used that. I'll pat that onto the brush and I've sprayed it. Yeah, I think that was a good decision. That's super bright for the inner corner. So I'm just packing that in the inner corner and onto the lower lash line. I'm wrapping that around my tear duct. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara, maybe a little bit of wing liner and a lip, and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look and wrap up the video. Okay guys, so this is the look complete. I've added mascara, which is Bad Girl Bang, a wing liner with NYX Epic Ink Liner, and my lips today are one of the Fenty Stunner Lip Paints. This one's in the shade Underdog. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think we wanted to make it a little bit more wearable, obviously tone down the blush and highlight and wear a more nude lip with this look. And I think, although it's quite green and dramatic and smoky, that would make it a lot more wearable for a lot of people. But I always love my dark dramatic eyes with my deep lips and I really think it's striking and it works really well. So had a lot of fun creating this one. I think this is such a good palette. If you didn't pick it up, when it was originally launched and I know it was very difficult to do so you know with the stock issues but when the site reopens if you don't have it highly highly recommend this palette because it's such a unique color story and there's just so much you can do with it I've only scratched the surface of what you can do with the two looks that I've done with it and the shadows are really easy to work with they are pretty kick up -y, like the mattes are soft but they blend really well the shimmers are just absolutely stunning yeah i'm having such a good time with it i love nine pan palettes that have got an interesting color story like this so it's definitely my jam and i'm really having fun with it so i'll link my other video up in the cards for you if you want to see what i did with the purples in the palette might even do another look with this one because i'm loving it so much but that's all I've got for you for this one anyway. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do lots of looks like this, try to inspire you to get a bit creative with colour. Most of my looks are quite dramatic and I try to pair different colour combinations and use different techniques in my videos. So I think you might enjoy that. Particularly if you're a bit older, you perhaps don't feel like you can wear some of these dark and deep and dramatic eye looks you definitely can so i'm here to show you how to do it so i'd love to have you as part of my little final beauty corner of the internet so please consider subscribing as i say before you go and if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button for me that really helps me out but other than that guys hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next video bye guys